Good evening, friends. Arthur Q. Travesty with you once again on the Art Travesty Show. And tonight, because our gun videos appear to be the most popular videos that we do, I got my shooting iron out. So tonight, um, I'm going to send you a love letter straight from my heart. And here is the love letter I got. This is a Colt Navy pistol in 44 caliber. Now, right away, any gun conocento knows that that's a fiction because Colt only ever made the Colt Navy in 36 caliber. Plus, if it was a real Colt Navy or even a good repro, it should have a naval battle scene on the cylinder, not mine. I bought this right across the street from a church after the April 27th tornado some years ago. 75 bucks. Some dude had taken this black powder reproduction Italian revolver out, shot it, and then put it in the back of his pick -em up truck and left it. You can't do that! When I bought it, part of the pistol was looking real good. I turned it over and it was orange with rust on the other side. So I spent a pleasant summer cleaning it, restoring it. Uh, I cleaned out all the chambers and throated them. And this is a 44 caliber pistol. Today I'm going to show you how to safely, and I just split my infinitive, Troy. I'm going to show you how to safely load and fire this firearm. So let's have some fun. When it comes to firearms, obsessive compulsive disorder is a great thing to have because that means that you do it safely every time. Now, for instance, I know that the maximum recommended charge of black powder Oh my holy Jesus. Oh, that smell. This is old Hogden's black powder. This is like uh, late 70s, and I inherited this from my dead cousin. Thank you, Denny. Um, I know that the maximum charge is 25 grains of triple fine black powder, not some pooty butt pyrodex, hard to ignite, reproduction. Oh, it's so safe. Pfft. Screw a bunch of pyrodex. Black powder. But I know that the maximum recommended is 25 grains. I also know that I use 18 grains because I'm not trying to play Dirty Harry here. I'm just having fun. So I use 18 grains for a 44, and the general rule is, for a rifle, use as many grains of black powder as the bore. So for instance, I shoot a 50 caliber rifle, I use 50 grains of black powder. I'm not talking about inline, repro, deer slayer, garbage. I'm talking about real black powder guns. Otherwise, get yourself a real rifle, son. But for a pistola, we use half of the bore diameter. So about 22 to 25 grains maximum for a 44, like we're shooting today. Now what you do is you take uh, one of your little chambers here in the pistola, right? And I seem to be lacking my proper funnel to pour it in there, so I make myself a funnel just so I don't lose a single grain of this precious substance. Take a deep breath, love. There it goes. Ah. And I'm in. Okay, now, I got my nice funnel right there. Sorry, <laughs> that's a PG-13 show. Now, I take my 18 grains of powder, carefully measured out in this precision instrument, and I drop the sombichi in there, zoop, like so. Didn't spill a grain. Now, I take this here 44 caliber lead ball that I smelted myself just like gold member. I made this last night out of wheel weights cooked in a 1930s smelter when children were allowed to make their own lead toys. And that's why the world got so screwed up in World War II. And what I do is never point it at your head. I'll look down in there and make sure I got the chamber with my powder. I shove the ball in there. I turn it around. And now I use this here ramrod. And I ram it home. All the way home. I mean, that's a good motto. There we go. I rammed it all the way home. Da, 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 da. Now you repeat that five more times, which I will not burden you with on this here video. Now, I should have pointed out that during that whole operation, I got the gun on half cock. Because half cock, look, finger on the trigger, look out. Don't, 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 don't. Half cock will not fire. It is safe. I can spin the cylinder. Woohoo! I can load it. See? Very nice indeed. Uh, right now, what we got to do though is this. There is a danger with black powder pistols, especially revolvers, called a chain fire. 
And right now it's safe as houses. I mean, I can, I can, you know, point it at my head. I can use it as a hammer. <laughs> but uh, that's because it has no caps. There is nothing explosive on it, right? But a chain fire, once we got it up and ready to shoot, is extremely dangerous. And that means that when we do fire it, it's possible for the fire to jump to all six cylinders and fire them all at once, which changes it from a delightful pistol into a hand grenade in your hand. And so we don't want that. So what we do is we take some of our favorite lube, Crisco. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna take a big old dipper full and we're gonna put it down inside each one of these here chambers so that it is safe, you see, so that we will not get a chain fire reaction of a spark jump, oops, of a spark jumping to all six cylinders. So we're gonna put that in front of the little bullets that we have done in each chamber like so and we're gonna make sure that it's nice and full of that lube and also it will smell really pleasant it's gonna smell kind of like um, as if french fries were lethal when we fire it it'll be very beautiful there we go fill your little tube with lube there we go okay and we make sure that there's plenty in there because we do not ever ever want a chain fire very bad for the gun there we are not so good for your eyeballs either. Okie dokie. And now, and that's a sloppy job, but what the hell. Now some people use felt pads. Some people use really expensive buy it lubricant. Pfft. Crisco wristwatch. Anybody remember Frank Zappa? And now we're ready for the fun part. Pistol is on half cock. Today I will be using Winchester Magnum black powder loads. Oh, Magnum Winchester. Pfft. It's just a simple number 11 cap and Arthur here is blind drat anyway this is where the thing gets dangerous all right once we put this on here we got the principle of fire damn it see Arthur is totally blind and Arthur forgets since Arthur hasn't shot one of these in a little while Arr, see right there that's why they make the little cutout isn't it so we take that there gizmo and we put this little gizmo on there like so Blah, 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 thank you. Blind old man, thank you. And there now. Okay, see? Now that chamber is capped, and this is where the term bust a cap comes from, so beloved of our rap musical artists. Now, we just repeat that procedure six times, and we'll be ready to shoot. Last step of instruction, dear friends. This type of Italian Repro 44 never was a real one Navy revolver has a safety measure where we leave the hammer right here as you see in between the chambers you see that it is not resting on a cap you leave that some bitchy on a cap and you drop it and it's going off pal so the old-time gunfighters who did not have this Italian safety measure they only loaded five chambers in their six shooters a fact very few people know but if you ever invent a time machine and you have to go up against an old west gunfighter remember he's probably got five in there unless he's just a crazy drugstore pistol arrow now we're going to do some shooting and this is the fun part i mean this is the part that we like right so i'd like to dedicate this part of the video to my adopted children jacob hartman thomas hartman my adopted daughter margaret hartman also known as the socially awkward ghost and to my boy, the T-Man, Taylor, out there who loves to shoot his BB gun. One day, Taylor, if you're a very good boy, I will let you shoot my black powder pistol because you're a good fellow. Right now, brought to you tonight and every night by Topo Chico, Mexican Mineral Water. This is a single action pistol. That means we cock it every time we fire it. Here we go, kids. Let's have some fun. Well, I suck. I got the boss anyway. <laughs> ah, that smell. Oh, you can't hit everything every time. I'll be back with the shotgun for those cans later. 
Hope you had a good time. Arthur Q. Travesty saying, always be safe. Finger off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. Never put anything on the muzzle that you're not willing to destroy. Goodbye. Oh. Don't keep filming. This is an abortion. I don't even have my sunglasses.